Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Shahzad and today we are going to install a new domain controller on 2019, the server 2019. Uh, I also have my old another video which is related to 2012 server and you can check how to install the domain controller on 2000. So it's quite similar but 2019 as a new in. So I would like to make a video how we can create a domain controller on to server 2019. So let's go on our vCenter and uh, we have a one uh, server which is this one Windows 2019 server 01 I have click on that and uh, here I am. So two things you have to check on this server. First you have to change the IP address, give a IP address static. So after giving a IP address you have to do one more thing in DNS you have to enter uh, 127. 0.0.1 or you can type the same IP of this one so we are going to promote this one as a DNS also so 192.168.100 or 90 you can give also that one so this thing you have to change first and then let's go for uh, start the installation so we'll go here in the start and server manager okay So in the server manager, we will go into the features. If I click now, because it's still checking the uh, other services and features installed. If I click here, it will start another wizard. Okay, we'll go next. Okay, next. Straight forward. We'll go next. Here we will choose uh, two things like Active Directory, Active Directory, uh, sorry, the Active Directory domain services and uh, DNS server. So these two things we can do together. So we'll go next. And then these features are already installed. I'll go next we'll go next and next yes install so it will take a little time to install the features after a little time it will install this uh, our active directory domain services and also our dns server tools Because uh, uh, the guys who don't know how to create a virtual machine on VMware, they have they can see my previous videos. I have a lot of videos regarding that in my virtualization uh, playlist. So you can create the how to create a virtual machine on a vCenter on ESXi servers. All related to this, my videos are there. So this one is near to complete. It will take a little time. So two things you do first you have to uh, give a static IP address and then you have to have a DNS pointed to the local server. So whenever this server will check for DNS so it will go on a local one. So some people's doing uh, DNS during the installation of uh, Active Directory and some are doing separately. So I do uh, I prefer this method. I will go close. So at, at this point, our features are installed. Now we have to promote this server as a domain controller. So after this completion, you will see here is a one question, uh, a warning sign. So I'll click here. So he's saying uh, it's a deployed, but promote this server as a domain controller. Uh, still required configuration required for Active Directory domain. So I will click on this promote this server to a domain controller. I will click here. Okay, so this is our first domain controller. So you have to add a new forest and then uh, the root domain name you have to give here like win19dc or dc19. I will use it dc19.local. Okay, 
dc19.local so i know that this is my domain controller 2009 server so i'll give dot local next so on this point it will go into the network and check if i have this name uh, somewhere or in the dns if i'm using this name or not so if not it will come and uh, give us okay dc19 is available so you can start uh, you can proceed for more further steps okay so it's uh, okay now it's uh, didn't find so functional level if you want to raise you can change it but uh, domain names uh, system dns server global catalog and here it's asking type the directory service restore mode if you want to reverse uh, uh, your you know uh, direct, uh, active directory you want to uninstall so you, you required this password so these are the levels now uh, raise level right now we have all previous is 2016 so we are using 2019 no issue so I will give uh, restore mode password. Okay, so we will go next. Here is the delegation for DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative zone is not no issues. You don't need to check this one. Otherwise, it create a new name. So don't need to check this one. So we will proceed next will check the bio, uh, the name verify the net bios name assigned to the domain so it will check and if not then it will bring us with dc9 okay next okay so these are the uh, database location uh, for the directory uh, uh, you guys know that in database folder all the NTDS is holding all the information about the uh, your directory uh, things like usernames, GPOs, and everything. Active Directory related database is called NTDS. So it will install on a default location. C, but in corporate sector, I would suggest you must use a different place where C is not uh, because C is uh, used by the operating system. So better to uh, change the locations of the directory on a, another like D or E drive. So these directories are safe in case of uh, virtual machine is crashed. So next, so here is the full summary and we'll go for next, it will check prerequisites. So if you don't have any error, we will proceed. Otherwise we'll figure out the error. So right now uh, it's, it's checking the prerequisite on this work in this server uh, VM if there is anything remain it will take a little time to check all the system like the firewall, firewalls dotnet framework and the delegations so see Right now, you say all prerequisite check passed successfully. Click install to begin the installation. So, it's check all these are some minor, uh, you know, warnings. This one we can do it later. So, we'll go next install and it will start promoting this server as a domain controller. So, what I will do, I will pause the video here and when uh, this is completed, uh, this thing installation. I will go and come back and then we will proceed further. Okay guys, after uh, installing, it's automatically restarted and came here. So we will go to log in this machine. See, it's uh, domain controller is DC19. Okay, this is our password and we will see if it is promoted. So after uh, this one all done we have to check two things that this one is uh, our server is promoted as a domain controller first you have to check a dns if your dns is okay then your uh, other things are also okay so i will click on dns and i'll check here my dns is here okay my forward lookup zone yes is created and very fine and if you see we don't have a reverse lookup zone so i will go and create a reverse lookup zone as also 
So in reverse lookup zone, you, you see our host IP is 100.90. So I will go on uh, reverse lookup zone. I will create a new reverse lookup zone. Next. And yes. Okay. Yes, IPv4. Next. Okay. And the here in the reverse lookup zone, we have our IP address 192.168. See, it's automatically it's made it reverse reverse backup zone name okay so it's already created so first you have to give here only first three network digits and then click next okay allow next and finish so we have created our reverse lookup zone as well so i'll do refresh and then like to restart one more time after this but it's okay if you guys uh, not going to restart it's okay but better to restart so uh, the services you can start restart the services also but i prefer to restart the server before we can proceed so first thing you have to check your uh, dns and after that you first uh, forward lookup zone it will create it automatically with the active directory and uh, reverse lookup zone you have to create the reverse lookup. this is required for a troubleshooting purposes and other things so better to make a reverse lookup zone as well after the installation so second thing now we will check our active directory services and domain controller sites and other things so after that we will proceed for other just to wait, it will take a little time to uh, start the server. Okay, so we are here on the server now i'll go to check our services like okay so dns is done uh, now we'll check our active directory users and computers there we can see our domain controllers also just type active directory so directory users and computers I will bring it on my pin to start and then uh, this one also I will take pin to start and then we can go for users and computers and let's see okay so here is our domain controller and if we see in our compute domain controllers and we can see we have our first domain controller this server is promoted as a domain controller and right now we don't have any features any users and other things so they see the here is some features are missing so if you want to go for more in a advanced look so if you go in action uh, so in the here in the view advanced features and you can see you have the, all the things here so this was the uh, you know video regarding the how to install a domain controller on server 2019 and uh, if you guys like my video kindly click on like and uh, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming uh, technology videos so see ya, take care, bye bye.